Red Jumpsuit Apparatus may not have gotten the respect of the critic community with their debut album Don't You Fake It, but the people are certainly on their side. With their songs Your Guardian Angel, False Pretense, and Face Down, the album notched platinum status for one million albums sold. The bad taste from the initial impressions of the band by many print critics still lingers for vocalist Ronnie Winter, and Red Jumpsuit Apparatus decided to let them know with their first single from The Lonely Road, titled You Better Pray. Um, well, the inspiration as far as the lyrics go is it's basically us just telling a lot of the naysayers and people that have tried to hold us back in our career, uh, too bad, I guess it didn't work out for you. And uh, whether you like it or not, we're going to be around as long as you know, as long as we want to be around. We're going to make music together as long as we want to do it. And when we're finished, we'll stop. You know, and that's how most bands are, you know. And a critic is not going to end a band's career even though they think that they are. You're not. You're just going to voice your opinion. And then we turned around and sold a million records. So all those people who bashed us don't look so smart anymore. So they'll probably bash us again. And uh, whether or not we're successful or not doesn't matter. Because you're either going to get a negative connotation from the record or a positive. You know what I mean? So. We just don't look too much into it. You Better Pray is kind of an answer back to some of those people who got it shoved in their face. And I don't mind bringing it back up. He said that the band wanted to throw everyone a curveball by releasing You Better Pray, which is in typical Red Jumpsuit Apparatus fare. Was it the logical choice? I'd probably say it was the illogical choice. You know what I mean? Because we could have went with a very classic Red Jumpsuit song. Uh, for instance, there's another song that we have that um, is doing really well, which is called Pen and Paper. Um, which is a very obvious, straightforward red jumpsuit track. And a lot of people probably expected us to release something like that first, which is why we didn't, because that's safe and boring. And we aren't that band. We like being edgy and unpredictable. We like keeping people on their toes, giving you something to listen to and, and to you know change. If we can throw your step off for a second, and then you get into groove with us and you understand where we're coming from, I'd much rather would have that than you being like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, that's good, yeah, I like the new song, you know I mean? It's just there's nothing exciting about that. So we'll see how it goes or whatever, but it definitely wasn't the most um, obvious single. But we liked it. The label loved it. They understood where we were coming from by wanting to release it first, and they supported it, which was awesome, I think, because that was, I thought that was the biggest shocker um, to me. And uh, boom, it's out. It's actually doing well. It's still going up. It's on number 15 on the charts right now. And we'll see how it goes, man, whatever. Either way. Lonely Road's still not even out yet, you know what I mean? It comes out on the third, so I'm just glad we have a single out before our album comes out that's doing well, which wasn't the case last time. Red Jumpsuit Apparatus will release their new effort, The Lonely Road, on February 3rd. Now.